Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to Let's Die Horribly in Dark Souls 3. I remain your host, Chad, if you're E333, and with the Dragon Slayer armor dead, I figure I might as well clean up the rest of Lothra Castle. I also realize I'm a bit silly because, see, there's a corpse up there, which means there's probably something like a ladder over to the side, which I totally missed. I feel kind of silly about that. So let's actually do the things that go around and possibly open that doesn't open from this side door directly below me. What's over here? Let's see. Titanite chunk. Ooh, nice. How many do I have? I have five. Just need one more for the crossbow. Or longsword. Not sure which one I'd upgrade first. Probably the crossbow? Hmm. Ah, okay. I just want to get rid of one of these before I rush in because this is I feel like it's not that safe overall. Ah, oh, come on. You you miss. How do I miss? There we go. Okay. Ow. Well, that's part of the reason why I feel it's unsafe. That Okay, there's also an axe wielder. That's That's another reason to feel unsafe. Ow. Man, those stupid bolts. Those explosive bolts, I don't know how to deal with. Other than, I guess, killing the crossbow wielder, but it's just... Down you go! Presumably to your death. Yes, to your death. All right. Man, you're making me waste all my Estus. Those explosive bolts are annoying. You die for your annoyance! Gah! You annoy me, now I kill you. It's a bit disproportionate, but you were trying to kill me. So, I'll just say that. Go with that one. Alright, so what's over here? There's a message. No illusory wall ahead. No illusory wall ahead. Okay. You were not lying. You were just basically pointing out that this area seems kind of bare. Is there anything here? Not even chess. Really? There's... Wow, okay. I'd expect a chest or something, a mimic maybe? No, there's this. A knight's ring. Ooh, what's this? Knight's ring is here. Increases strength. Ring engraved with the portrait of a knight. Increases strength. In Lothric, the knight had long... In Lothric, the knight has long been considered one of the three pillars of the king's rule, and thus allowed to rear dragons. Wait, what? Also, increased by five. That's pretty substantial. That's really substantial, actually. Actually, you know what? Oh, this would be a perfect time to test something. I was wondering a while ago... What sort of, So right now, it's... Actually, let's just see something. First off, let's not have it on, so I have a proper test to work from. So, right now, the AR is 331. Two-handed, the AR is now 362. Alright, one-handed with the ring, so it's 331 and 362. Now one-handed with the ring, it's 345, and two-handed is 371. Oh! So strength can meaningfully go up beyond, although... Yeah, it was 362. That actually does make a big difference. Hmm. I don't intend to increase strength anymore. But I do find that interesting. Yeah, 362, 371. And it was 315 going to 340, or 331 going to 345. There might be a soft cap. I mean, in... I remember in one, I think it was 40 was a soft cap, and then 50 was a hard cap. Like, it didn't go up beyond that. But after 40, it went up really slowly. So there wasn't much point going beyond 27, because when you two-handed, you got one and a half times strength. And there's a knight here, too. At point-blank range! Ah, whatever. Actually, just in case. Staring at me, not sure what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stab you in the back, that's what I'm gonna do. Get my FP back. And then shoot you. Because it works. 
Large shard, of which I have plenty. I have... Oh wait, no, I don't. I have one. That was my first one. Well, of this setup. Let's see, this is normal chest. With more Titanite scales. Nice. So if I want another boss weapon, I can upgrade it now to plus three. Because the plus four upgrade requires... Oh, no, no, no. Plus two. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, plus two. Because the plus four upgrade requires eight. Plus three upgrade requires four. So I need seven total. And finally, I found it. I found the Warrior of Sunlight thing. Offer all the Sunlight medals. Ooh, nice. And no kidding, rank games like 40 Sunlight medals. I mean, I don't even know how many you'd have to get all the things. Probably 50. Which I'll get by the end of the playthrough, no problem. Let's just check out what those spells are. Or miracles, rather. So, Sacred Oath first, since I already kind of know what the other one does. Boosts attack and damage absorption for self and vicinity. Ooh. Miracle of those chosen by the Sunlight Covenant. Temporarily boosts attack and damage absorption for self and those in the vicinity. This is the tale of the Sun's firstborn, his faithful first knight, and the brave dragon slayer who served them both. Okay. And Great Lightning Spear is Primal Account of Lightning Spear, which tells of an ancestral dragon slayer. Hurls a giant lightning spear. Gwyn, the First Lord, slew dragons with his sunlight spear, a tradition upheld by his firstborn and the great spear he wielded. Much of this resplendent tale of father and son, while epic, remains tragically untold. And wow, it's not even... It's much more descriptive than the regular lightning spear. I'm curious if sunlight spear exists. My guess is that much like... I didn't even check the requirement. It should be 30, yes. Sunlight Spear in Dark Souls 1 required 50. It was the most powerful version, but it did require 50. However, Great Lightning Spear, what's the... And this is, of course, the shortcut. Couldn't open before. Hooray! We've explored this area. However, there's still a lower area of Lothric Castle that is totally unexplored. I did not even check that. I went there once, homewarded out of there, and never looked back. Now we're going to look back. But one thing I wanted to check requires as as 32 FP compared to 23. That could actually be quite useful. But I don't really want to... I don't know. I kind of want to use it, but at the same time... Well, it's nice having the lightning damage. It basically does the same thing as my crossbow, whereas Wrath of the Gods is a totally different style of attack. So I feel like, while Great Lightning Spear is really cool and I use it all the time in Dark Souls 1 and 2, I don't know if I'm going to use it a whole lot in 3, because I don't have a huge amount of spell slots. I don't intend to get a huge amount of spell slots. I would like to have heal on hand. I really like the protection. And Great Lightning Spear... I mean, we can try it a bit, I suppose. It's just... more of the same, kind of. I guess that's nice. No idea how much damage it does. Might as well play around with it, I guess. I'm curious, but I feel like my crossbow is already handling that. So, first off... Yeah, let's go to Dancer. That's a much better bonfire for this. We're going down because that... Any other... Either up and drop or go around through the nights that I don't really want to go through ever again. Except for that one shortcut, which I don't actually need anymore because I've already gotten to the Dragon Armored Bonfire. Hooray for shortcuts. But yeah, Great Lightning Spear has been, in my experience, much better than Lightning Spear in all the games, so it's probably the same thing here. Where it's just loads better. Like, it's... It's so remarkably better that you just don't even ever use Lightning Spear again. Because why would you bother? Except the original games for the spells cast, because there was a limit to how many you could have cast. Ow. How much damage? Eh, 115. It's actually not bad compared to the crossbow. Missed. I didn't. Well, you know, it's not bad. It's... I can definitely see me using this sometime. Like, it's much faster than Wrath of the Gods. Mind you, this is actually a really fast catalyst... Or not catalyst. Really fast chime. So, it is a bit of a difference. 
All right, and this was the upper area that I preferred to go to rather than the lower area where I felt like I was gonna die. Except I need to drop down to the lower area from here anyway. Woo. I need to buy more fire bombs. Was there any other path I missed? No, pretty much just drop down. <clears throat> That's about it. Drop down over here. Pop. And then there's another Cathedral Knight up there. There's a big poisony swamp. I should probably equip these since I have them again. Oh, that's nah, just blooming. Oh, well, I can buy them, so no big deal. I think the excrement covered moss gave me a lot of options for buying stuff. Okay, I don't really feel like dealing with the Cathedral Knight just yet. I kind of want to go down here and deal with these goo zombies because the goo zombies are tricky. But I'd have to deal with them and the Cathedral Knight at the same time if I'm not careful. Ooh, it's over here, besides poison. Another Ring of Sacrifice. I feel like that's a hint. Although, frankly, I have more than enough embers, I don't really care. I've never actually used a Ring of Sacrifice. Like, except maybe in the one bit at the end of... of the Duke's archives, where you first find Seath, and you have to die. That's the one place where it's really a good idea to have a ring of... A rare ring of sacrifice, actually, because that eliminates the curse problem, too. In this game, I don't think there's a rare ring, just the regular ring. Ah, crap, they're coming at me together. I don't want... I do not want to fight both of them at once. I'm guessing they take different paths after that point. That's an intersection between the two paths, and then it goes off. Yes, they diverge. Eat lightning! Which apparently you can deal with no problem. Eat fire! Which is apparently much harder for you to deal with. And then sword. And then I'm out of mana. Shoot. Eat fire again! Ha! I guess that's the one problem. I would need to put more... Uh, what do I have for attunement? It's like, here's the problem. I mentioned before about the levels. I want 40 endurance, 40 dexterity. And then I have a few left. Like, at that point, I've got... Because that's 16 levels. I'm at 115. I have five levels left between vigor and attunement. I would basically have to put them all into attunement in order to make that useful. And then be stuck at 939 embered health forever. Which, admittedly, I'm not going for a really tanky build, so maybe. Oh, man, if I could buy exploding bolts. Burn! There we go. Ow! Burn again! Huzzah! Actually, you know what I should be doing? I think about it. This is silly. What I should be doing, instead of using fire bombs, is use charcoal pine resins. I mean, I can, so I might as well. Although I don't like this setup here. Okay, shadow stuff, neat. A claw, I'm toxic. Good thing I have the blooming purple moss clumps on hand because I didn't Realized it was toxic. I thought it was poison. You know. Probably should have waited until I got close to the thing, but eh, whatever. Hey, you! Not you. The other you. This one over here. Get over here and let me burn you. Ha! E fire! Ow! They were powerless in the spot. Ah! Wow, okay. Maybe the firebombs were a good idea. I'm gonna have to buy more then. Hmm. Alright, well, I've got some more firebombs now. It's. When. During the black, I went off to get some firebombs because I need those. So I have... How many do I have right now? Storage? 
27 in storage and 20 on hand. So we're good. Of course, I have to deal with this guy again. Oh, I didn't... Seriously? Ha! That's what you get for trying to be clever. Stabbed! Well, at least I'm getting loads of large Titanite shards. Not that they're the most useful thing in the world, but hey, they're there. Got four now. I had none. So, profit, I guess? I don't know. So I think at this point, I only need to deal with the first two of those annoyances. Those goo zombies. The third one can wait until after the Cathedral Knight, although I kind of want to kill all of them to get my souls back. Now that I think about it. Oh, wait. Get off here? I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I feel like I have more choice if I get off here. Ah. <sighs> I'm on fire, Mom. Now, ah. Oh yeah, Ember would have been a good idea. What? Oh shoot! I have to do it a wait a little while, and then I can knock him out again with fire. Ah. Get my Ember going too. Shoot. I kind of need that health. Which is why I'm not sure what I want to do with those remaining five levels I was talking about. Because that's a lot of health. Five levels of Vigor is about 200 health. Which is about the difference between me Embered and not Embered right now. So... It's a thought. Okay. Of course, the ideal would be exploding bolts, but I can't find where to find them. Okay, you burn. And then I get out of the way. And then you burn again. What? You don't burn again? Okay, now you burn. Ah. Well, I'd say 2.5k souls is, makes sense. Seems like about what I deserve. Good 2,500 souls for that. And now 27. Okay. Pretty healthy amount of souls there. Yeah. Eat bolts. And then eat firebombs. And then eat sword before I get away. Ow. Or try to get away. And apparently fail. So that was 400 souls cost in total to get rid of all of those. I'd say that was worth it. So what do we have here? More large titanite shards. Dark gem. Okay. A lot of toxic. Which, as I found out, cannot really be changed. The amount of buildup you have is pretty much static. Oh, they're not going to notice me? Please don't notice me. Please let me get a backstab. Two-handed greatsword backstab. Yeah! Two-handed greatsword backstab! Ow. Ow. Did that hit me? Bad timing. And more large tide night shards. Because that's what this area is for, I guess. Uh. Whoa, what? Oh, they're slugs. They're not the slimes. I thought they were the slimes. But nope, they're slugs. I don't need to burn them. What the heck are you? I did not expect a normal zombie here. Oh, well. Didn't really matter. You didn't touch me. Too bad for you, I guess. 
Human pie and resin. I can only buy a limited number of those, so that's probably good. Get that dark going. Yeah, it's pretty pointless. Okay. Message said pointless ahead. It, it was right. It, it was pretty pointless. How do I best want to approach that? Full health. I could just get toxic. And that's an option. I don't mean the sarcastic like. I could just get toxic and then just not really have any problems. Just get through it. I'll live. Most likely. You can watch me die, but yeah, I'll live. Where's the item I spotted? I spotted an item. Did I not spot an item? I didn't spot an item, did I? I spotted a slug. There's a light shining off of one of the slugs that made me think there was an item. Jeez, is my Geiger counting going off in there? That's what it sounds like. Maybe that's what Toxic is. It's really radiation. This Dark Souls really takes place in a post-apocalyptic wasteland of the 23rd century. Or maybe those are just leaves. I mean, my channel's not a lore channel. There's kind of a reason for that. Okay. What's in this little area? A boss, apparently. Closed off spot. An item. Hey, enough Titanite chunks to upgrade something. I think I have seven now. I do have seven. I think there's a Cathedral Knight in there. I'm going to hazard a guess. Is there? Oh, hey, what's this? Hey, it's a contraption that was blocked. Is this the elevator? Is this the elevator would not move? I think it is. All right, good, a shortcut. Oh, hey, what's that? I think this, okay, I think I know where I am. Because this is... Wait. No, I don't. Where am I? Hang on. Okay, if I'm remembering right... No, I'm not! This is new! Where the heck am I? Bad move! Okay, what happened? I thought this was a shortcut. Evidently no! New area! Because there's that one elevator that was broken near the Grand Archives that... It just said... It no longer worked. Now I don't know why. I don't know what causes that. Oh, yeah. Thanks a lot, buffer. Annoying. Oh well, you're also relatively easy to kill, so I guess that's fair. And a junk and a shortcut. Don't know where this is possibly open. Try fire phantom card ahead. Oh, hey! I didn't even notice there was a door there. All right, cool. So now I have a shortcut. Of sorts. But still, it's something. So... Can't level up. Not meaningfully. I can't... Well, okay, not at all. I can't really... Like, going through here is relatively trivial, so I don't really care. But I could upgrade stuff. I could upgrade my longsword or my crossbow. And as always, I'm not really sure which one I want to upgrade, but I could upgrade either. And that's tempting. But let's take a crack at the boss fight first. Well, presumably boss fight. I actually don't know. I'm guessing, because it looked boss fighty. There was summoning available. Oops. 
And also this has a middle area I can go to... Now. Oh, I see. Oh no, this is new. Dragon scale ring. All right, so another ring, another story time. Ring of Osiris, former king of Lothric, reduces damage from backstabs. In his later years, Osiris became fascinated with dragons. After going mad, he was more commonly known as the Consumed King. Many assassins were dispatched to his domain, but none returned. The Consumed King ascribed his resilience to the divine protection of the dragon scale. Good to know, I probably won't be able to backstab Osiris, assuming that I'm fighting Osiris sometime soon, because I'm just gonna assume that. Since, well, you know. It's probably a boss. They wouldn't point it out if it wasn't a boss. Okay, this is interesting and new. And makes me wonder if there was something on the other side of that elevator shaft, because that was the one platform to get off on. Is there something on the other side? There is not. Alright, well, worth checking. This is a very intricate garden. Of which there are very few shortcuts. Well, from which there are very few shortcuts, but there are some, and of course there is a sniper spot. Uh, Assuming I don't just shoot useless, uselessly at the walls. Actually, eh, it looks like that's the only. Oh no, there are two. I'm wise to do this. Apparently, they're willing to stand there and be target practice. Okay, I'm done shooting. Yeah, And that's why I'm done shooting. Apparently, the Cathedral Knights don't mind if their friends get brutally murdered in front of them. Oh! I see. This is just an alternate way there. And you get the dragon scale ring, which is nice. Huh. Okay. Neat. But I'm guessing there's still a boss fight or something beyond there. Uh, I can shoot you. Well, it's not headshots, but it's something. Bad time to reload. Bad time to do your strong attack. Because I get to stab you. And twice. Oh. Magic stone plate ring. Nice. I would like a steel stone plate ring, in all honesty. But this is not bad. Stone plates are symbol of true knights, and blue stone plates are granted to the Royal Palace Guards. Increases magic damage absorption. By about... 10? Holy... Wow, that's a lot. 10% extra absorption. That's a huge deal, actually. I might want to use that. Depending on what comes up in the boss fight. If this presumed boss fight has a lot of magic, then I'm gonna want to do that. Oh, not presumed. It, there's definitely a boss fight. I'm also a little curious if there's CPU phantoms around, but I don't think there's anyone here. How close am I to I'm not that close to leveling up, am I? 15k souls away? Yeah. Hmm. Man. This might be serious mode. Oh, actually, how much is it? Yeah, it might be serious mode. Time to put the serious hat on. Maybe else the serious ring. Probably not going to get any stabs in, so yeah. I don't know what's being done at me, probably, so... Let's put on the serious ring. It's serious time. Ah, the 
ignorant slaves. Finally taken notice, have you? Of the power of my beloved Ocelot, child of dragons. Well, I will not give him up. For he is all that I have. So, Seath Mark II? I'm calling Seath Mark II right now. Well, it's not a terribly large hit bar. Or help, hit point bar. No, it's not Seath Mark II. It's actually considerably different. Ow! Oh. Wait, what? Crap, I can't put both the Sirius Ring and the other one on. No, that's not enough either. Crap. Ah, something! Alright, that'll work. I think that's thrust counterattacks. I forgot I don't have enough vitality to put on both serious things. Ah, uh, dear little Ocelot. Where have you gone? Are you hiding from me? Come out. Come out. Don't be afraid. You were born a child of dragons. What could you possibly fear? Are you talking to me? Now, now, show yourself, Ocelot. My dear little Ocelot. Crap. Ignorant slaves. How quickly you forget. Uh, I should have checked my weight before going in there. That was a big mistake. I always have to be a below 70, otherwise I'm screwed. Shoot. Alright, let's put on stuff that actually makes sense. I think... That'll work. That would actually work. Strength ring. This would also work, but I feel like that's kind of useless. This would work. Might not be a bad idea. Hmm. This is why I kind of want steel stone plate, but I don't think that's an option. Although, you know what? Speckled stone plate is just a little bit too heavy, but magic stone plate actually is fine. That's a real concern. I don't know. I feel like it's got to be. They're clearly wielding a catalyst. Well, let's go with magic stone plate, and that'll that will work. Things in my quick bar. <sighs> All right, here's you. Uh, who is that? Someone there? Anyone? Sweet champion, where have you been? Please, your touch. The little creatures, how they nip and bite. Great, so I killed Egon for nothing. You didn't know I was still alive. Yeah, I'll get back to the regularly scheduled boss death montage in a moment. Ignorant slaves. Ignorant slaves. 
Ignorant slaves. Ignorant slaves. Are you hiding? Ignorant slaves. Ignorant slaves. Ignorant slaves. How quickly you forget. Ignorant slaves. Ignorant slaves. Show yourself. Ignorant slaves. Ah, dear little ocelot. Where have you gone? Are you hiding from me? Come out. Come out. Don't be afraid. You were born a child of dragons. What could you possibly fear? Now, now, show yourself, Ocelot. My dear little Ocelot. That seems like a suitable place to end the episode. So next episode, we'll go through the boss soul and all that stuff. Wow, that's a lot of souls. I can level up with that.
I don't know what to think of that boss. I feel like that boss was interesting, but the charge animation didn't seem like it quite matched up with the speed of the charge. It, I didn't feel like it communicated that. Otherwise, it seemed all right. I think I kind of got a handle on how to get close. And actually, so it seemed like if I got close, I was actually safer because a lot of the attacks, especially the tail swipe, actually didn't have a hitbox in the middle of the body. So, anyone goes in, going into a Cyrus fight, in the second stage, it seems like staying close is actually a relatively safe strategy. Anyway, that's going to be that. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.